Hey everyone, I'm Cynthia Conti for Ring TV, and look who I found out outside the mecca of boxing, Madison Square Gardens. This gentleman, this heavyweight, is coming tomorrow to fight, to kick some ass. Yes, indeed. And, well, I mean, look at, how can you not when you're bedazzled like this? It's, Mr. Mar it's marketing. Mr. It's Mr. Mar Bryant Jennings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We just saw your weigh-in. What, what, what were you feeling when you stepped, on, when you stepped onto that um, scale? Um, well, you know, um, the same feeling I feel when I step on every scale. But, you know, this today was kind of like, was a little, little different. Uh -huh. You know, uh, you know, I, had, I, I accidentally left my chain on, so I wasn't taking it off. So I was just kind of like. Accidentally myself, oh, left your chain? Why does that, did that weigh like an, a pound extra? Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm really 225, so it weighed so so the chain weighed a pound and the uh, I, and the watch weighed a pound. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't ahead, like to it. touch yeah, other yeah, people's yeah, jewelry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's wow, and it's beautiful. It's, it's, you know what? Somebody's zooming in. Look it's, at this. It's it's Come designed here. and manufactured by uh, by Sean Jewelers. You know, it's beautiful with ruby uh, eyes. Yeah, Elite though. class. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you have a huge fight tomorrow. A huge yeah, fight. Every fight is huge. Well, every regardless, fight is not. But did. For your training camp, did you change up anything for this, or just stick to your same style and just do what you normally do? Um, what this this training camp was very particular, um, because I pretty much trained alone. Okay. You know, uh, you know, my head training was pretty busy. And what uh, do you mean trained alone? Like I pretty, I pretty I pretty much trained alone for the for 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 a great for a great part of the training camp. You know, my 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 training oh. my training was busy with other fights, but he say you know what you got to do. You know, make sure we do it, and then we spun. You know, you know, the last three weeks, and he just was like, you know, it's, it's, I do, I do what I have to do, even in the absence of of, of quote unquote authorities. You know, as far as like your trainers and people who's going to make sure that you do what you need to do. So I'm the type of fighter that uh, that I'm gonna do what I need to do regardless. So when you when you say that you trained alone now, uh -huh. did you watch a lot of tape about your opponent? What do you know about the guy that you're gonna be stepping in that ring and? Knocking out, hopefully. Um, I really don't know too much about him. Uh, I did see, I did see uh, a couple clips, so I really get to see how a person moves. You know how a person looks, just to just to just to ease my mentality. But other than that, I may not know exactly what he would bring. You know, come Saturday night because I don't really know. So you know, me and one of my one of my homies, James. You know, he gonna be at the fight. So he was the only one that was that was a. Uh, we was the only two in the gym every single night. Every single night. So we definitely put that work in. I was pushing him. He was pushing me to make sure, you know, no, we need to do it like this. Mimicking, mimicking other other training camps, knowing what we need to do. And far as the strength, far as the strength and conditioning, I do that anyway. That's my that's that's my thing. So Okay, so after once this fight's over and done with Yeah. You'll win. I mean, well, I, I, well I, I, I work. I work hard to win. You work hard. You, you, uh -huh. oh, like uh, Kodo said, you just do the best. You. Yeah. Now, in this division, heavyweights are coming back. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they, 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 you know, it kind of dried up a little real bit. Really and, and, uh, and you know. But it, who would you want? It's real illusional. Um, but you know, um, right after, right after this. You know, um, I'm I'm still on the track for for what's not necessarily promised, but what's but what's seen in sight with uh you know with Joseph Parker, uh -huh. oh, yeah. um so you know that's definitely that's definitely an opportunity that was presented. Um, only thing I had to do was make sure that you know I do what I have to do and take the steps to you know to probably get there. Okay. So uh, that's definitely uh, on the radar. You know, um, that's been said. That's been said by by me by my promoter. You know. By by his by his side, you know, far as you know, they have no problem with entertaining such you know such bouts. So you know, I mean, that's what that's that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to that. You know, I think everybody rarely know that, but since they don't, I'm looking forward to the Joseph Parker fight, and uh, we already know that that I'm going to be ready. There you go. And then also in your heavyweight division, right. this this holster of of Wilder and Joshua. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It, uh, I mean, if those two, right? I love it. Side eye roll. If those two were to get in the ring, if um, if it can happen, uh, Eddie Hearn, just saying, who do you think could take that fight? Um, well, I said this. I said this in a previous interview. Yeah. Um, you know, is it be offense against offense? So it's like a, it's going to be like a high scoring game. The way though, first person that gets, first person that really gets is boxing. So first person that really gets, you know, gets hit. We're pretty. It's it's going to be. It's going to it's going to come down to who can take the most punishment. Okay. And 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 if Wilder can take the most punishment, then then he'll win. If Joshua can, then he will. Because I know both of them will fight to death, offensively. They will do what they have to do offensively, but they're not favored for their defensive act. So we can't really look at okay, 
how is Wilder going to defend, you know, Joshua's, you know, right hand, or how Joshua's going to defend Wilder's right hand, or how how is he going to be able to psych him out or, or get him confused? None, none of these guys will be confused in this fight. So, and these guys, both of these guys are very talented guys. We're not going to take that away from them. But, you know, when we talk about when we talk about that full, you, you know, that full arsenal in boxing, defense, uh, ring generalship, uh, ring movement is something that we we might have to, you know, leave out. So when we, when we speak of them two great offensive fighters, mm -hmm. then we have to pretty much basically, you know, uh, focus on their offensive side and just hope that hope that one of them can actually bring out some defensive things that we yeah. can say, oh, okay, we never seen that before. That's so good. not saying that they don't have it, we just never seen it before. Okay, and then... Let's go back to your fight. You. It's not good, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's freezing, but it's, you know, at least that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you're fighting on the Super Fight card. Right. When you got the call right. from that you're going to be fighting on the Lomachenko versus Rigan Dow card, uh -huh. oh, my God, was that just, like, Christmas coming early for you? Well, no. You know, first of all, I'm Muslim. Uh, la -la -la. I don't uh, celebrate Christmas, but... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh... But uh, a birthday gift. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I just had to really just throw that in it. That was a little sarcasm a little bit. But, uh, but no, you know, I, I, I've been there before. You know, I've been the one that, you know, people have been excited, you know, to be on my undercard, you know, of a heavyweight, you know, title and stuff like that. So um, I understand the game a whole lot more. Okay. Um, I'm, 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 very, I'm very honored to be on whatever card, you know, okay. to be able to get work. You know, and to be able to get paid or, you know, be able to fight and extend my, you know, legacy or try to, you know, extend my footsteps in, in the game that I, you know, that I'm in. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not really excited, but that's a fucking great card to fucking be on. You know, that's a great, that, that's a great fight. Can you give me a prediction? Um, <laughs> on them too. <laughs> I mean, Rick, Rick, Rick and is just, he's a jackal for real, man. He's a jackal, man. It's like. I like I, I like I've always paid attention to him, so you know I always always look I always looked his way. You know, um, uh, Lomachenko is is kind of new for me. You know, Lomachenko is very talented. He's definitely talented. Take nothing away from him, but you know, we're looking at we're we're looking at we're looking at the guy who I always knew versus the guy who I just met. Okay. Well, you know what? We're gonna find out just like everyone else is who's right, gonna right, take right, that. Right, right. But you guys make sure you check him out. He, you know what? Yeah. Heavyweights are yeah. coming back, and or the heavyweights, and he's here. Make sure you guys check him out. Oh, and one last thing, uh -huh. what can you tell your fans what they're gonna see tomorrow night, Madison Square Garden, ESPN and ESPN Deportes from Brian Jennings? What are they? What are you gonna show your fans in the ring? Philly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if you understand, Philly. so if you understand that, you can interpret that. You know, Philly. You know, I'm I'm hungry. You know, okay. I'm I'm still hungry. You know, I ate I ate I had a meal. Mill, mill. You know what I'm me. saying? <laughs> no, mill. Oh, I'm vegan. You know, I'm vegan. I don't, oh. eat, I don't eat no meat. Yeah, you know. See, so you just keep offending me. But, I'm sorry. Yeah, first you said Christmas, then you said cheese stick. I'm joking. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Okay, so freaky. I don't know. Well, I, I stay away from the soy too. Uh, okay. You know, Jesus. I consume less of it. You Do you know? live at all? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm living. Okay. I'm living. I'm on some. I'm on some Jim Carrey shit. So I know. I'm. Uh. Happy yeah, birthday, yeah. Bob. It's Bob Aram's birthday yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Remember, oh yeah, tell your fans what they're gonna see. Um, they they're gonna they're gonna see Philly, you know. Um, so like I said, if you understand that, you can interpret it. But you know, follow me on B, follow me at By Jennings on Twitter and on Instagram. You already know what it is. Your boy By Jennings, best heavyweight in the world. Yeah, though. Ring TV, shout out. Ah, there you go. All right, remember you guys tomorrow night here at the Mecca of Boxing in New York City at the Theater of Madison Square Garden. You got the super fight, Loma versus Rigo. ESPN, ESPN Sportes. I'm Cynthia Conti for Ring TV. See you guys at the fights. Bye, guys.